Would you look at the time? Would you look at it? It is time for an another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers. Throughout time and space, it is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, welcoming you back. So let's play Final Fantasy VI. If you watched my update video yesterday, you'll know that I did the Soul Shrine yesterday. I completed it. I completed it. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. I got to the Kaiser Dragon fight. And then my recording software broke on me. Because video too long, no can process, no upload to YouTube. And so, this time, once the video reaches about 45 minutes in length, I'm stopping the recording and starting up a new one. Anyways, let's first look at all the stuff that we have. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Welcome to the Soul Shrine. This is a place where the evil souls linger and First, trapped in a vortex of despair. The only way to quell the blind anger is to defeat them in combat and put them to rest once and for all. If you so desired, you could attempt to face them. Fight, 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 fight. fight. Anyways, I'm also going to speed up because I didn't do that until partway through last time, so... Hopefully this helps. It's only slightly. I hope I get lucky and get to face the Samurai Soul like I did last time. I'm pretty sure the Samurai Soul is one of the ones where it can happen and it might also not happen. Also... Now remember more of the annoying enemies than I did than I had knowledge of last time, so I'll be able to look out for those. Ah, uh, this is the fight that takes the longest. Because these fish just keep on reappearing. I hope I don't run into too many gluttons. I tried to steal from them last time, and that did not end well.
So yeah, the Soul Shrine's good for facing enemies you might have missed. You know what? No, you're dying. Oh, um, while playing Final Fantasy, I guess I should mention something that's in Final Fantasy news. I should have taken that chance to heal, whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. My character's got pretty good health overall. Um, and I cured the status elements and stuff, so who cares. Uh, but I meant to bring this up yesterday in kind of my update video even. Because I think it deserves to be talked about. Um, I don't know how many of you, eh, well, if you're watching this video, you're probably into the Final Fantasy series, and might know about a Final Fantasy phone app called Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I, um, have been playing Final Fantasy Record Keeper for a very long time. There's a lot of stuff I still haven't been able to do, like some of the harder dungeons and stuff. And that's more to do with I don't have the right soul breaks in that game. I think they're called soul breaks, yeah? yeah. I'm already blanking. Uh, but the point of what I'm trying to talk about is... It is apparently going to soon be no more. There's been an announcement that they're that it's an that they're ending the service of the app. And I just as someone who's been playing that game for years, I I'm incredibly saddened to see the game go. Uh, of course, there is one side to it that I'm like, oh, thank God it's going. <laughs> Oddly enough. The intanger here. And I, I was like, I kept on expecting this enemy to pop up sooner in my, in my last thing. That was fun. Um, uh, 
so yeah, with uh, with uh, the one good thing about Final Fantasy Record Keeper not being a thing anymore is that will be one less thing that I'll spend my time on each day. No, I won't give you a third. The Glut Urns appear to have different stats. Also, I'm surprised that I'm still able to do that much d damage with the Ultima weapons when... The, when the health is so low. That's not gonna end well. Okay, let's continue on. I'm should also be checking the beast area. Yeah, it is I, the Great Papyrus. That's bad. Someone's been naughty. Yeah, I'm really confused what's going on now, at this point. Oh, right, I'm on two times speed, so it doesn't... doesn't display correctly, sometimes. Duh! Not enough frames to see all the frames. The frames are frames, the frames are framesy. And after the Soul Shrine, I, um, well, this series will end. Uh, I thought about completing out the Beast Area, but uh, that would be a lot of running around. And I've already done a lot of running around and things, and I just don't feel like going through the extra effort to find the last few enemies and where they hide. This is a dangerous game.
So, I... It would be funny if I'm able to get through this entire thing because this time I actually remembered to speed up the battles before... Right at the beginning. Well, I thought about speeding up the battles right at the beginning because I didn't think about it last time. And now I have that pre-thought and... It is I, the Great Papyrus, back from the dead. Yeah! Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm i sorry that I've been losing so much content recently. I don't know what's up with that. It's not fair. It's not fair at all. and Tanger. I have no idea what this one is, what that is, at all. Should have probably used the break to heal. I didn't think of it. Also, it is just not fun levels of hot at my house. Ugh. I don't respond to heat well anyways, so just with how, how things have been feeling, it's just been particularly bad. is there to talk about recently um oh uh, well i mentioned this is an update video but there there will be a lego review video coming very soon hopefully going all very well. Ah, good. The magic.
I did not want to fight these things back when... The actual area where you can fight these things. Because that area is so annoying. Not being able to use physical attacks. A no, this is not supposed to be a glutter, and this is supposed to be a magic pot. Oh no. was annoying. And I just realized, um... Is there no way to get rid of float? That could be problematic. That could prove very problematic. Because if you don't know, the Earth Dragon Redux Edition has an ability that makes floating very, very bad. Oh, and I have to look out, look out for when I encounter the Magic Master. I didn't, think, I didn't think about what I was fighting the last time when I uh, was doing this, when I fought the Magic Master. Why am I getting all these gluttons? Why the face gluttons? Bad. Considering how many Gluttons I've fought, I doubt that I'm going to get the, um... The, um... Same bestiary percentage I got last time. Which is slightly annoying, I suppose.
I'm also going to make a slight adjustment to my plan for this time. Oh, an eye for an eye missed. I was lucky. You know what? Take your stoop stinking high ether. Oh, you want more? No, you do not get more. I don't care what you hit me with. That was fair. I suppose. I need to check something after this sequence of battles, besides the bestiary. Like, I'll need to pause in this recording session and go check something. The fiend dragons were... I was in the back up to 97, but I don't think I fought everything that I did last time, sadly. Just simply by bad luck. With all those times I encountered gluttons. Crystal Dragon was something I missed in the final dungeon, huh? Still no idea what that is. Anyways, I'll be right back. Okay, back to fighting. Let's hope less gluttons. I'm already on the regular dragons. But yes, if you want to encounter every enemy in the Soul Shrine, you've got to play through this multiple times. I won't be doing that.
Actually, I've got quite a few mega elixirs, don't I? Uh, no, I've got a, I've got quite a, I got a good supply of elixirs though. I was just thinking for something upcoming. I was planning out a different strategy. Now this is where I should get the um, the extra master scroll from the samurai. So I don't think I said that right. I think I was moderately delusional with whatever I just said. Um, the Master Scroll from the Samurai Sword. I don't know if that, I, uh, I, I really don't know if that's what I said or not. Samurai Sola. Samurai Sola. It's not very nice poisoning me like that. Oh, that's a bonus. Um, the level five death affected shadow in my last attempt at this. Okay. Well then.
of the relics. Ready for the next stage of the fight. And then I'm going to end this first recording because I'm not going to risk it again. Even though I'm pretty sure I could just finish off the Soul Shrine. I want to push the limits of my um, recording software again. Sorry, Shadow, you just don't cut it anymore. Get it? He doesn't cut it anymore? <laughs> Anyways, after this is the dragon's redux. Okay, I can push it. It really was because I didn't do the um, fast forward last time that I ended up in the situation I ended up in. Unfortunately. So, relics are being changed. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, yeah, ribbon makes more sense than the Gen no, having the master scroll. Probably a far better idea. Sure. Same thing with you. You need a ribbon over the... So, the status is... Ribbon. And then a different thing for each character. That seems like a good way to go about this for this final bit. The ultimate weapon will be switched out for the um, thing once the time comes. And of course there was nothing else new in the be for the bestiary and any of that. So I definitely missed out on a few that I fought last time for the bestiary completion. But like I said, I'm not going for a bestiary completion this time. And like last time, I'm going to cut out two of the dragon fights. Specifically, the fire dragon. And the, uh... The fire dragon and the undead one are the two that I'm just gonna completely cut out of showing. I should have used Mog to cast another Ultima. The fire dragon is just about
The, the fire dragon is just purely about survival, and the undead dragon is... ...about using... ...rasp and osmone to beat him, so... That's not really, um... ...fun to watch. So I'll just cut those two out, and thus the time should not matter. Oh, so hot. It's so hot that it's been difficult to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> but I feel sick if I try to eat. And. This is the one I wear. Yeah. That's what I worried about. These will do th that 50 G's and then immediately go full all in. This time it's a slightly more interesting. Yes, I did just say it is a slightly more interesting. You know what? the end of the gold dragon and now I get the little cross blade actually no the ultimate weapon will still do more because of that reasoning anyways um now we are here which honestly this might be a good strategy. Anyways, uh, I'll meet you back after this one. There we are.
Okay, it should be the fire dragon now. Oh no, the blue dragon. Yes. I remembered from yesterday when I made the same mistake. Dragon which sacrifices life or whatever, whatever. Yeah, to make itself stronger. Okay, be back. Not fair. Not the best situation to start the next fight off in, but. It is time to face the Kaiser Dragon again. So we must. This is going to help, but So how's magic looking? Still good.
Um, you know what? You get to attack. Not really worth it, but. Okay, I should be done with this fight. I'm like on two time limits right now because I've got the time limit of... in the game and the time limit of... Uh, of my recording software breaking on me again. be close. I'm done. I did it. We won. Chained Master's Crown, which is actually a rare item. It's not actually like a crown that you can wear, sadly. But as you can see, I did it. We're done. We're getting out of here. We're saving. We're saving. I'm on... Okay, right, you have to go here. Come on, let's get out of here. Anyways, this looks like a good place to end off for today's video. So, this is the Cowardly Time Lord signing off of the Final Fantasy VI series. Instead, the next video after the next Breath of Fire 4 video will be Final Fantasy 4. Or, or Lego review video. It really depends. Anyways, I... Well, and of course, you know, Skyrim clips in between. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. And this is Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying have a good day or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Bye bye now.